How you guys doing? This this uh, this video is gonna be a little bit different. Last couple of videos I did were rants and raves about the family court. No longer married. Uh, a lot of complaining and whining. This one's gonna be a little more lighthearted. Just wanna tell you, like, eventually things do work out. I didn't think they would, but it's getting kind of tough uh, at the end there. I started to lose faith, but. Stay, stay good. So things will work out. Well, anyway, I, last time I, I made a video, I was hammering family court like there's no justice there. Actually, there is justice in there. It just depends on who's you're standing in front of. I had a new lawyer. Helped me out. Filed the right petition. Dissipation of marital assets. She didn't show up again. I don't know if you remember, if you watched the video, she missed quite a few. But they actually awarded me the marital home. And they also sp suspended the support. I couldn't believe my ears. Anyway, I'm right now I'm packing from the rental house I'm at. A lot of stuff here, my drums, my, uh, filled the whole house of furniture. For two and a half, almost three years, I've been out of my home, and I'm ready to go back in. I already changed the locks. I've been in there. A few things I had to repair. Taxes haven't been paid for two years. The homeowners. Kind of in a hole right off the bat. But, hey, I got done what I had to get done. I got the home back. So I got to look at it as a positive thing. And, hey, it's not so bad. Life's not so bad. I mean, I'm not going to even complain right now. I think it's been, I'm going to say, my, I just turned, I ain't going to tell you how old. I just had a birthday, August 31st, or January 31st. Seems like a lot of things have been going right since. I had a little bad problem here just recently with the whole taxing, but com compared to a lot, of good, a lot of good things have happened since my birthday. And I'm on a bad streak for a long time, and I'll tell you what. Just wait it out. Things even out. It be seem like a long time where everything's not going your way. But I'll tell you what. I turned around. Things got better. I met someone nice. I'm not going to go too much into that because I will eventually. <laughs> but anyway, basically I'm packing up now. I'm going to be up by the end. This is Friday. It's uh, March 2nd, I think it is. 3rd, maybe. I'm not even sure. But anyway, uh, that's Friday. That's tomorrow. I'm going to be in there by Sunday. I already changed locks. I've been in there. But uh, I'm moving everything out of here. It's a lot of stuff to do. But I took a little break. I figured I'd talk, make a little video. I'll tell you that. Don't give up. You know, just when you think things are going to keep going bad, sometimes they turn around. you got to keep positive attitude. And I lost my positive attitude but it seemed like things turned around I met on my birthday I took off that day right and I said there's work on the computer and I had my phone there and people are saying happy birthday left and right it's amazing how many people say happy birthday and, and I was figuring I was working there and I was saying thank you each as they came in I, instead of saying you know, thanks everybody and I usually wouldn't have the time for that but I was off that day and I was Working right there, the phone was there, and some, some said something, kind of made me smile. Said something back that made me smile more, and that's the name of that tune. <laughs> and uh, that's just something else I'll talk about another time. But kind of happy about what's going on. Things are doing better. Be back in my home now, which is. A little further a ride from work. It's further from my... It's going to be tough to play music. I'm going to have to try and soundproof the rec room so I can play, which I'm... It's not really in the budget right now, but maybe I can figure something out. But I just basically... This video I want to talk about right now is, is about faith. I almost lost the faith in... America's justice system, the court system, everything. I just thought that it was such a raw deal. I thought that it wasn't fair, period. But then as I I was in front of the same judge the whole time, and 
she had it out for me, and she still does, because even after I had my home back, I, to be polite, I went there to just to have my address corrected on there, which she told me not to put it on there so I would get my mail, and also when it was my correct address on there, and even though the other person show up every time, she still, and she told me I was experienced, I should be able to serve her. I'm telling you, this lady had it out for me, but then I had another judge, a fair judge, she looked at the facts. She seen what happened. That's what they need to do. Look at the facts. See what happens. And don't... Just because you decided something at, at one time that you know was wrong, you can't just keep sticking with it because you don't want to look bad. You know who I'm talking to. It's not right. You're supposed to be a judge. You're supposed to be fair and impartial. Just because you made a mistake don't mean to hold it against a guy. Even though he's right, you know, it's not fair. You're supposed to be a judge. You're supposed to be impartial. You weren't impartial. You had it in for me from the start. Don't tell me you didn't because I know better. You didn't even like me. I never did nothing wrong. I asked you a few questions. I never was imp imp impolite. I held myself. I made every hearing. And you still talked to me like I was a lowlife. You need to get your act straight. That's right. I'm saying to a judge. I'm not, I'm not slandering no one. I'm not going to say your name. But you know who you are. I don't believe you would treat me like that. I've never done anything to deserve that. I've heard you. I, some of the things you said to me. I've heard you talk to lawyers. And let them go on it. And then you talked to me like I was supposed to be this experienced lawyer. in And... Serving someone when I can't win because the police wouldn't let me serve her. And you're telling me to serve her. And I couldn't serve her either way. So you extend it because she doesn't get served. And there's no way I could possibly do it. What kind of thinking is that? It's, like it's an impossible situation. And then you extend it even though she hadn't showed up seven times. It didn't matter though. That's the point. I already was awarded sole possession. I just wanted to, have, I wanted to be polite and show up for a court date. And what'd you do? You make another court date. Because you just want to break my balls. You should be ashamed of yourself. I checked some reviews. I ain't the only one that thinks that way. I didn't see one good review you had. One review was halfway decent and they still complained about you. <laughs> well, that's the first lawyer I had. And him and his buddy and... Uh, Christ. I, when I get to my house, I've seen all the papers from all the lawyers. Not one piece of paper was from that lawyer I, I paid. I paid a lawyer eight... Oh, it took him nine months, four hearings he scheduled. Didn't send her one piece of paper. He danced around for eight months and just walked in there like he was representing me. The whole thing was that he, he didn't do nothing. Not one thing. He just stole my money and just showed up there because he had a court date with someone else. He never did a thing. He never stepped inside the courtroom with me once. He typed up a petition to vacate. That's all he did. Typed up the petition. That's the only thing he did. And he looked me in the face and gave me eight. And it wasn't about the money. It was about the eight months of me thinking I was being represented by someone. And I had a, ch I had a chance. He never he never planned on even taking it into He never planned on making it into the courtroom. He's a lying sack of shit. And then he, he brings the, his buddy in to, to go in with me at the end. And he lies out right out to me. And then the judge lets him go. And he double talked me like I'm a stupid ass. I said I wasn't really about complaining because it's a good thing. You know what? Because they can't do nothing to me because I'm telling the goddamn truth. Check the transcripts. Without, they say, uh, at the end, it was uh, without without prejudice. If you have a tape of that last hearing, you want to hear prejudice? It, it, it sounded like I had a gun in the back of my head, every answer I had. A judge would never put up with that. She said, are you happy with your lawyers? I was like, because they told me if I withdraw... Go right in my house. They were lying. I couldn't go back in. I go back to August, like six, eight months later. And she's at, and after eight months of trying to get that, four hearings, trying to vacate a uh, petition, they told me to withdraw the last day. Had five minutes before I walk into the judge. And the night before, he tells me, oh, you want to get that lifted, right? I said, yeah. And I go in there, and all of a sudden he changes his mind. He says, I go withdraw. Him and his buddy, they're like, uh, Champ and Curly, and they're hulking over me like I'm supposed to get intimidated by him. You gotta withdraw. If you win, you lose. You know what? They were so full of shit. 
these two lawyers, they shouldn't even be practicing. They shouldn't be practicing attorneys in the city of Philadelphia. They're both bums. I ain't going to say their names yet, but they're not getting away with it. It cost me a lot of money. Not in fees, but just time. Time. Each hearing that was extended, they learned like the four, five thousand dollars worth of fees I'm paying and money I'm paying in different areas. You wouldn't believe it. Thank God I got a good lawyer. It's a very good lawyer. She, in fact, she was with a group and she's starting her own firm. I would recommend her if anybody needed a good lawyer. I'm not ready to say her name in the same sentence as the two bums. I don't even want to talk about her in the same sentence because them two are bums. They're, they're, work, they are corrupted in the system. That's why the system's bad, a few like that. But the system's not all bad. I had a fair judge, I had a good lawyer, and basically they were honest and integrity, and it was about justice. I got justice in the family court. Finally. It took a long time. I didn't think it was possible, but they did it. The judge was very good. She seen what was wrong, and she understood. The lawyer I had. She cared. She was honest. That's all I wanted. Honesty. The truth and honesty. I get Bozo the Clown and his bald-headed buddy. And all they want to do see who lies the most. and It's about them. It's not about the people. The people I don't care about. They didn't care about me at all. He started from day one. He kept telling me about what I should do. And I said, I want the truth. And he's like, Looking right through me, he's telling me just ah, better support, get this, you know, it's called fifteen thousand to get the divorce. You know what? I think if I seen him, I might punch him in his freaking mouth. I swear to God, if he walks up to me in the street, I might punch him in his mouth and I'll 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 go do a little bit of whatever happens because I've never hit or committed a crime in my life. But if I'm gonna do one, I'm gonna punch him right in his freaking mouth. Cause I tell you what, he was a dishonest He's just not bright either. His partner, who thought he was even more dishonest, like a bully. I hate bullies. I hate them. Why don't you just do your job and do the right thing? Stop trying to do what's going to be easy for you. You get paid to do a job, do the job. I mean, just, well, anyway, I didn't want to go through all that anyway. Uh, I'm moving back up. I want to try and... Uh, Things might be different. I kind of have a little interest somewhere else right now these days. I didn't think I was going to have interest anymore because, I don't know. If you watch my No Longer Married video, you'd say I'd never, be, I'd never trust a woman again. But, which I didn't. And then all of a sudden something, I don't know, something happened. And I, for some reason, something's telling me that this is... You don't let this one get by, and I don't know. Everything seems right. She's honest, she's sweet, beautiful. I can't see anything wrong with her. I mean, she's perfect. But you know, I'm I'm a bullheaded. I'll probably screw it up. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to though. But uh, man, I know something good. I just want to say I'm glad. I'm finally going back home. I can fix a little bit. I know it's property. It's not like it's a person. I can fix it up, get it back going. My daughter's going to be with me uh, as far for her. She's going to be taking Uber and killing me money wise. But I don't. What are you going to do? As long as she's happy. And uh, I'm, I, I'm happier now than I've been in a while. Might not look like it because I've been. Running around trying to move for the last couple of days. I'm a little scattered here. Just found that I owed five thousand dollars in ta real estate taxes. Thursday. Jeez. You know, it's two days ago. <laughs> oh man. No homeowners, no taxes. He's not paying the mortgage. He's just living up there until they're ready to put the sheriff's sale out. <laughs> I don't know what people are thinking these days, and they're still yelling out there like they're 
they got they're doing this and that. Ah, I'm not even gonna worry about it anymore. All I know is I'm starting off new today when I get in my house. It's a new day. I wanna go in, I wanna start again. I wanna just keep playing music. And I think uh, I'm kind of inspired to do something big. I'm got some ideas that I wanna try. The channel, improve the channel. Subscribe by the way. Subscribe. You know that button down there? Subscribe, hit it. If you're watching this video and you don't subscribe, nothing, just hit subscribe anyway. <laughs> Hit the like button. You know what? If you leave a comment, I want you to leave a bad comment. Think of something that irritated about the whole video. Leave that comment. Don't even leave a good comment. Okay? Unless you want to. <laughs> anyway, yet I ain't going to... As far as someone's privacy, I don't want to go into that part. But I'm happy with where I'm at, where I'm at right now. And... Uh, I'm in the middle of moving. It's Friday night and I'm almost all packed up. You can see. I got all the furniture down there, but then I got my drums and everything's down. I just think that's just the bulk stuff. And then I uh, just got to get to the bedroom. I got to get to, uh, you know, some of the stuff. I can get out of this place. I just talked to the guy I'm renting it off of. Pretty nice guy. I didn't like him at first, but I got to respect him. I mean, he, he hung in there with me. A good guy. At first, I wasn't so sure, but I'm gonna miss this place because this is where I played music. This is where we, my brothers, got together. This is where I started playing. Well, I didn't start playing here, but I most of the videos on my channel are done in this house right here, right where I'm sitting. So it's all right. It'll be the same channel, just a different location, a new venue. I'm thinking about. Uh, soundproof in the rec room maybe you can you can make a video at three o'clock in the morning nice and loud <laughs> it's a quiet neighborhood i don't want to blow anybody's doors off but anyway i'm getting almost to 25 25 minute mark it's like 22 minutes i don't know I realize i was talking that long but uh i don't know if this is interesting to anyone i don't know maybe i wouldn't even want to watch it but I figured I'd check in with you guys and let you know that family court has justice. You just gotta wait a little while. I hope maybe you get it right away and you get the right judge, but it took me a long time. It cost me a lot of money. I just, I didn't really think I was gonna ever get any justice. I thought it was never gonna happen. And all of a sudden one day, you have sole possession of the home. We're suspending the support. I was like, what? I asked my lawyer, we went outside, and I said, did I hear what I just thought I heard? She said, if you hit the lottery. I said, man, I can't believe it. And it didn't seem like we said much, but after I get to the house, I see my lawyer is very thorough. A very good lawyer. You gotta watch the quiet ones. I don't say much, but they smart. Very smart. I would I would recommend this lawyer to anyone now. Now she started her own firm. Shh. Alicia, I'm gonna say first name is Alicia. Last name starts with an R. <laughs> R I E, I believe it's R I E F F. I should get her card. Alicia Reef. Uh, I think I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm embarrassed if I pronounced it wrong. She's a great lawyer. Pretty woman. I. She gets results. That's all I can say. All these other lawyers who've been there for all these years couldn't do nothing. She steps in, second hearing. She gets results. Not only did she get results, she got me the best result I could. I couldn't even, didn't even think I was going to get close to that. And she did something right. Maybe it's just I stayed honest. I didn't start lying. I didn't start doing anything different. I stayed even though it wasn't working for me. Now here we are. Rebuilding time. A lot of new videos come in. A lot of different subjects. I'm going to spread it out a little bit. I wish some of you guys would ask for any subject at all because there's 
We're pretty well rounded, the Lafty Brothers, five of us. We all got a lot of the different things that we do. And you'll see. It's black coming forward. My channel's gonna be a lot more interesting. Keep staying Brett Lafty on YouTube. Stay with it. Hit subscribe. We're going somewhere, guys. Girls. Women. <laughs> Women. Uh, um, right now, I'm, uh, I'm going to go there. But anyway, stay tuned. I want to get an update. I want to get a channel trailer. I want to do a little video once I get situated. I want to maybe make this a whole station of channels. Different different categories. You know, we're going to get Sam and Seal started back up again. We'll get rid of Lafty Rose Band as his house band. We're going to... Uh, Still do music videos, original music, live, and also I'll be doing the masonry videos. And I'm just gonna, I guess you call it a blog, vlog, whatever it's called. Once in a while, I'll just give you an update on how it is in the city of Philadelphia as a middle-aged man who's freshly separated, well, almost three years. And what he's doing in the future, with his future, which he doesn't even know what he's doing because it's things change. And I hear song, My Mind Will Always Change. Some band wrote that, some uh, band sings that. It's called My Mind Will Always Change. Good song. If you, if you listen to the lyrics, it makes sense because circumstance, circumstances will make you change your mind. That's why I say your mind will always change. I can't say it won't, all, won't I've never change. For a particular thing, maybe, but in general, circumstances will change your mind. Basically, that's what the song was about. The guy who wrote it, at least that's what he said it was about. Psych, I wrote it. Yeah, that's what it was about. <laughs> Look on my channel, it's called Mind Will Always Change. I sang and wrote the song. My Shane plays the bass. and uh, It's a good song. At least I think it is. <laughs> I swear it sounds like Nirvana. I right, give you a break. Anyway, I'll see you guys take care. I know this wasn't interesting. I was just babbling, but hey, I'm in the middle of moving. I've been moving all for, for a week now, and I'm packing all day. And I got off from work. My boss was like, "You won't let me take off." I hate to say it, Ben, because he's not a bad guy, but I couldn't get any time off. What am I done here?